What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman. Today we're making a solo trip. Gonna try to do a little bit of catfishing today. I know y'all haven't seen too, too many catfishing videos. Either you've seen me catch catfish, but normally I'm targeting redfish, trout, and other things like that. But today I'm specifically gonna be targeting catfish. Um, we're gonna kinda challenge myself a little bit today. Not gonna go out there with my normal open face Abu Garcia with 20 to 25 pound test. I'm gonna have very light tackle today. Um, I have a light spin rod and an also bait caster, which both have eight pound test on it. Um, and some of these catfish and whatever actually bites, but targeting catfish, these catfish can go pretty big out here. So hopefully my line holds up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. Without you guys, this channel would be nothing. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, appreciate the support. Thank you very much. And let's go get on some fish. So as I'm piddle paddling here in this no wake zone on the way to the spot, I'm gonna kind of go over and show you guys what I'm gonna be using today. I did say I was using light tackle. First one I got right here. Uh, I don't believe y'all have ever seen me fish with this on my previous videos. This is my eight, it's a H2O Express six foot six light rod, light to medium really, um, with a 3500 series Abu Garcia Cardinal spin reel. Uh, this is also what I'm going to be using today. You have seen me use this before. It is my H another H2O Express rod uh, and then it's up to a H2O Express bait caster. Like I said, both of these are very, very light setups for what majority I fish with. Just to give myself a little bit of a challenge. Uh, I come out here every once in a while and just kind of yank on the catfish with 20-25 pound test and easily get them in. So, so we're going to see what these catfish really got today see what kind of fight they go put up and uh we'll get back with y'all whenever we get to the spot as you can see there's quite a bit of boat traffic here today most of them are in the actual decent spots to catch fish so we have to come on the outskirts and kind of fish around them don't want to fish around the whole crowd over there but they are catching some decent sized catfish over there there we go Hooked up on the first one. Nice little catfish. Had to go ahead and flip that one off over there. I hooked them so good in the corner of the mouth. They have that bone in the corner of their mouth. Oh, camera looks a little dirty. Hold on. They have that bone in the corner of their mouth that makes it sometimes hard for them to unhook. So, but that flipper I have over there is a lifesaver and a half. There's another one. This feels like a small one. Smaller one. Yeah. Small ones I don't really like to mess with too, too much by hand. They have them pointed little barbs. As you can see, the barbs on their fins. I've been stuck numerous times by them. And it's not the best feeling in the world. So this slipper right here is an incredible lifesaver. You don't really have to touch them. Just get them on that connect it to the hook and twist your wrist and they coming off two pound catfish smoke the jig head with shrimp on the bottom like i said we're not keeping fish today so we'll go ahead and let them go and get on some mo fish action that's a good bite 
That's a decent fish. Tell you what, fishing with this light tackle is so much funner than bringing in, even if the fish isn't huge, which this is a nice, actually a nice catfish. There's actually a very nice catfish. Which they all get hooked right in the corner of that mouth and it's really, really hard to get this hook out. I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this one in water for you guys. Cause that hook is really deep in there and I don't want this catfish to die. So we'll go ahead and flip this one. Another nice little channel cat, blue cat, channel cat, whichever one this is. I'm not too great at identifying the different species and types of catfish. Oh, he wasn't hooked in the corner of the mouth, so he's not gonna be too, too hard to unhook. Like I said, nice little, probably half pound catfish. Let him go. Now I'm catching these fish pretty pretty steady but it's a little slow due to the fact I'm actually on the other side of the current um, the reason why there's a lot of activity also right here is because to my left is a shrimp peeling plant uh, and once they're done peeling they release the peelings into the water via a pump on underneath the water and normally that's why it's good when the tide's going out it takes all that shrimp or the shrimp peelings and brings it out and the catfish just sit around the other side of that and just wait for anything to pass by. So normally when I'm planting out going tie this into fish. Or a small fish. He felt big in the current. Um, as I was saying, normally let the little guy go. Normally when it's an outgoing tide them fish sit on the other side of that shrimp plant and just wait to crush whatever comes through which is why i'm on the opposite side of it so that's why it's a little bit slower the people on the other side however are literally catching them every cash right about now but i'm not going to fight all them people and especially squeeze in i mean they're literally boats tied off to boats over there so i'll just stay right here and catch them slow and steady as they come in i'll enjoy it That's a good one. Well, he felt good at first. He's not too bad. About three quarters of a pound. Really trying not to get stuck today. It's a nice little catfish. I know they get way bigger in here than that, but they are biting left and right right now. So, go ahead and get on some more for y'all guys. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm catching and releasing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just, I just came in here to have a little fun. Well, I'm catching them. They just, they just, they just slow and steady. That's also one thing about Louisiana guys, especially South Louisiana. People are probably one of the are probably the most courteous people I've ever been around. I mean, I grew up here my whole life, but I mean, like you probably just heard that guy offered for me to, to this one. that guy offered for me to go literally tie off to the back of his boat and um, fish, being that they are some of the people that I was referring to earlier that are basically catching them every cast, but I politely declined it. Like I said, I'm just catch them slow and steady i'm not catching them to keep them if i was then i'd probably pull up if not i'm just catching releases so i'll stay back and 
have a little bit of fun catching them slow this day. Props to the guy if you are watching this video. Uh, I appreciate the offer to go come fish next to your boat. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. This is a really good fish. Especially on this light tackle. This is gonna be a good fish. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and land him over here. Let's get in there. Bear with me one second. All right. That's a nice catfish. Finally, got a better look at this fish. Got him on hook for you guys. Probably about a two to three pound catfish right here. Very nice. He smoked it, and especially in that current, they feel so much bigger than what they actually are, but it's a nice size catfish. This is what you want to catch when, you, when you're eating. But like I said, we're releasing, so we can let this big guy go and make some more catfish. Just like that, he's gone. re-rig back up here put another red jig head on put some fresh shrimp on and we're gonna get back down there and hope that next big one bites as i did say earlier guys i am challenging myself by fishing with this light gear which is another reason why the fish probably broke off it felt like a very big fish um and like i said i'm only using eight pound test here so but my line was a little frayed up so I'm not gonna blame it all on just the line so it was frayed so what you're gonna do besides keep that keep getting at it and keep fishing that's all you can do there it is not as big but a little fish him on the water a little bit let's not lift him up on that light rod that's another very nice catfish but another two pounder put up a really good fight these are starting to come in pretty heavy right now so we're gonna try to get them some more for you guys and let this one go back that's a good one. Oh, maybe not For these small guys, it's way more convenient to flip. Just put it on there and boop. You ain't gotta get your hands dirty. Best tool ever, literally best tool ever. That's a good catfish. That's a good catfish. No. 
That's a very nice catfish. Oh, come now. About another pound and a half. Nice little channel cat. He's already missing a eye. Ah, pretty, pretty funky looking guy. So he's already had a tough life. So we're not gonna make it tougher on him. Just let him go. That's good. That's a better fish. Probably about another pounder, pound and a half maybe. Right on point. I'd say definitely about a pound, pound and a half for sure. But they're starting to come in a little small, so I don't know how much longer I'm actually stay out here, but still catching, still fun. Well guys, that's gonna be a wrap on today's session. Did what I set out to do, caught catfish, targeted catfish, couldn't ask for a better day. Even though I went solo out there and I didn't have a buddy to share all the experience with, still had an awesome time. But make sure if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, check out the other videos that's on our channel, and make sure you stay tuned for the up and coming hunting videos which i cannot express how good they're gonna be especially with duck season coming up but as i said hit that subscribe button hit the like button comment any suggestions you may want to see on the next videos anything you want me to do in the next videos or target for next videos make sure you comment below and as always stay tuned for another episode of louisiana outdoorsman